so guys welcome to leaves and lungs so we're going to see current affairs related to agriculture on february 18 2017 so we'll see what agriculture developments has been taking place in the current affairs in india so uh, today in the current affairs they're given that west bengal government brought additional uh, three lakh hectare agriculture land under irrigation program so they've been given in the news that like uh, 12 lakh hectare of land has been brought under irrigation program and there will be no shortage of water supply for cultivation of rabi and boro crops so you know more about rabi crops have you ever heard of boro crops so this thing seems to be significant in terms of current affairs so we'll just see what is boro crops and what is significance with west bengal so uh, have you ever heard of boro crops so boro crops are nothing but so before going to the boro crops you just need to know the meaning of boro so boro is actually a sanskrit word meaning cultivation that is taking place between november to may under irrigated condition okay so boro crops are mainly irrigated in mainly are grown in two states that is west bengal and uh, parts of bihar and then uh, bangladesh so these are the three countries that specialize in boro crops and uh, boro crops requires usually large amount of irrigated water so uh, that is why the chief that is why their minister has uh, sanctioned a huge amount of irrigation to these crops so uh, what is boro rice so boro rice is nothing but it is also called as winter rice since it's grown in the season of november to may and also this boro rice is the staple food of bangladesh so the rice that is grown in Bangladesh is boro rice. So uh, there is also something new about uh, sugar cane, and they're given like this: India's sugar deficit widens to 15% from 10% on January 30, says ISMA. So ISMA is nothing but Indian Sugar Mills Association. So uh, they said that crushing season in the Karnataka has almost come to an end with that of Maharashtra as it fags send. So uh, sugar cane. Uh, sugarcane production has been decreasing due to uh, insufficient water and all since the monsoon has failed drastically in the southern parts of india especially in karnataka and tamil nadu so they said uh, the crushing season is also shortened so let's we see something about uh, sugarcane crushing season so let's know about uh, sugarcane crushing season so sugarcane crushing season is nothing but where the activities of uh, crushing the sugarcane and uh, exporting everything will be taken place so uh, sugarcane crushing season will be starting after diwali okay so it will be like after diwali generally the crushing activity picks up space after diwali season so it's always up it, it always starts by november okay and it will end around uh, the end of february or march depending upon the amount of sugarcane that has been produced in a calendar year okay in the current the last year it was like a diwali came at the end of october so the mills are demanded to start crushing season in uh, november so this is what all about crushing season of sugarcane so also in the news this is like less significant this is like more of a environment chapter but still it is related to agriculture so today science express jointly flagged off by railway minister science and technology minister and environment minister so this uh so this will be seen as so uh, science express climate action special CCAS. so this is the name given to the express so it is started from safdarjung railway station today so out of the 16 coaches of CCAS, eight coaches were exclusively for ministry of environment and forest since it uh, since it is related to forest uh, it becomes uh, very much relevant to agriculture topic as well and it is termed as bio biodiversity special express also so guys that's all the news that related to agriculture that came off today so keep watching our channel for more and more videos do subscribe it do share do comment it if you like the videos give your feedback thank you guys